everyone! Welcome again to the channel! How are you doing? First of all, I'm completely sorry with all of you guys. I have to apologize because for the last days I haven't uploaded any video. Um, it's been uh, it's been few days. The thing is that um, I had to delete all of the videos that I had. Uh, I didn't know how to edit videos. You know, I told you before, guys. I told you that my brother had to teach me how to do it, and finally he had time to come to sh to teach me to show me. Editing videos is not something that you can do in two minutes or you can learn in one minute. It's something that, that takes a little bit of time. So we took a, an afternoon to teach me the, the minimum things how to do it. And the first thing that my brother told me is that uh, the videos that I had, uh, they were uh, recorded in a format that I could not use or convert to another format that I could use. So I had to record again all the videos from zero. So. Uh, here I am guys uh, starting from zero again this is the video that I'm recording again for you guys uh, I don't know what to say uh, I don't know guys I'm, I'm completely sorry so the first thing also um, the quality of the videos uh, apologize for it um, if it's not the best one uh, just give me some time until I can improve give me some time until I can learn more give me some time until I can get some stuff and give you more and better stuff okay once all of this is told um, what do we want to do today so what I'm gonna bring you today guys today I'm gonna bring you something different today I'm not gonna bring you bazooka no, no bazooka today guys I know that it's completely weird it's completely like out of the scene but I'm gonna change from bazooka to shotguns why uh, I have uh, some legacy, uh, some legacy shotguns that uh, I want to show you guys because they have different perks, different way of playing. So I want to see what happens with it and my build. It can be fun. It cannot be fun. I know what's gonna happen because I already did the video in Spanish. So we're gonna try to see uh, what's the results. Okay. Uh, so let me explain you. I choose. Bookshot Raptor, or what we used to call the Rider. What is the advantage of the Bookshot Raptor? Critical Blast. Increase shotgun critical damage by 225%. Uh, if I understand what it means, remember that I'm not English, so I don't understand properly English. You know what I mean. Uh, what it says is that every time that I hit a critical... <laughs> My little sister. So every time that we hit a critical hit, we will do a 225% damage. We have to see that if it's true or not, uh, because with the new uh, repair that I will call for the heroes, mm, you know, guys, that a lot of things have been bugged and not everything is working as it should. So we have to try it out. Underdog increase healing received by 2.5 for each nearby enemy. Why did I choose that instead of what I have normally? That is uh, cool customer, I think it's called it. No, which one is it now? Uh, this one, preventive strike, increase damage by 6.5 against full health enemies, that I love this one. I choose underdog because you have to be close to enemies with shotguns. Shotguns have low range, so they have to be, you have to be really close to enemies. While you will be fighting to, close to your enemies, you will be getting a lot of regeneration. That's what it's supposed to be happening. Not a lot, because it's only 2.5. but. It will be a plus of regeneration uh, of uh, health while you are close to your enemies with the shotguns. Uh, next thing, star up. Every shot increases ranged weapon damage by one point up to maximum 25 stacks. Switching weapons or reloading remove staff, re removes the buff. Here it comes uh, a tricky thing. Some shotguns they will uh, reload every time. But some shotguns, like Room Sweeper, will not reload until they finish uh, with the magazine. We have to try it out if it actually stacks or not. We will see on the video. Lock it and reload it. Well, this is one of our favorites. Uh, basically, every time that we reload, uh, we will have 15% uh, extra damage for 5 seconds. Like I said, for some shotguns, it will be amazing. Like, uh, how is called it now in English? I know the name in Spanish, I'm sorry guys, but for the Star Wars Squire, every time that we shot with the, the, Star, the Star Wars Squire, we will be reloading after it, so it will have a lot of damage, it will be amazing, don't worry, I already tried it and I can tell you. <laughs> practice, it, pra practice in combat, 
increase Warcry duration for 3 seconds. Uh, with this guy, we will be using a lot of Warcry, you will see, guys. Survivalist. Eliminations kill you for 39 bass health over 3 seconds, duration refresh with additional eliminations. Uh, this actually goes a little bit with Underdog. Uh, underdog gives you extra healing while you are near the enemies, and if you kill enemies, you get extra healing too. So it's a bit of mixing together, okay guys? Uh, I like it. Fight or Flight. Grants 8.5 additional weapon damage and 8.5 movement speed. This and practiced combat for they go together. And I think that Fight and Flight goes a little bit with uh, Survivalist plus Underdog. Why? The movement speed. Movement speed and shotguns, uh, it's important because I mean with the shotgun you have to put you have to be in the right place to shot the enemies. It's a, a low range uh, uh, gun, so you need a lot of mobility to be in the right place in the right moment to shoot the guys. You have to understand that it's not a rifle that will, will have a lot of DPS. So you have to calculate the right moment and the right place to shoot the guys to kill in, in, in the correct uh, time. Ooh la la, today it's been a hard day to speak English. <laughs> So, once that I have explained it a bit, uh, or tried to explain you guys the Bookshot Raptor, let's go into play, okay? Uh, before I play, I want to show you also the, the guns that we have to use today, because we have uh, some shotguns. So, I have the Legacy Dragonfire, I have the Legacy uh, Long, Arm Long Arm Enforcer, I have the Legacy uh, Bear, I have three, why well, I have three? One second, I have to take out something, guys. Okay, I use it too, that's bad. So, as I was saying, we have the bear, we have the dragon fire, there are two legacies. And I have another legacy that is the thunderbolt. I didn't use it yesterday, but maybe today we will take it out. Because it's a, it's another shotgun that uh, that it have a element natural I think. Let me see it. But I don't have oxidized, so I cannot craft it. Damn. Well. So the bear, magazine size, damage, quick chance, rotor speed, element nature, cause affliction. You will see guys that many of my guns have Affliction, and I love Affliction because it's like Venom. Basically, when you up the Affliction to an uh, to, uh, to enemy, it will stay there for a few seconds and it will damage the enemy after you hit it. Uh, this is one of the legacy guns that we will be using today. Dragonfire, critic damage, 21 crit chance, 15 damage and 135 crit damage to afflicted target. 10% dam uh, weapon damage and cause Affliction to, to targets. What it's supposed to happen with this weapon that I love a lot, but that's one one of the things that I was telling you that is bugged and I don't understand properly, is that the first shot will apply affliction to the enemies, and in the second shot you will su will supposed to apply 180% crit damage to that enemy, plus the 225% of the rider. So that's the thing that I'm that I'm willing to check it out if it works or not and I'm a bit uh, worried about it. And then the long arm enforcer. Here we are. Uh, I love this gun because it has a funny thing that we will try under the trap today. It is damage to afflicted targets. So I want to show you also guys uh, in the how to use traps today in my, in my oh, in, from my point of view, my, my version of how to use gas traps and spike stripes and how to abuse of the afflicted targets. So we will be using this gun under the traps to abuse of the afflicted damage. Uh, so it has damage afflicted targets, fire rate, damage, magazine size and fire rate. It's a really fun gun, I love it, uh, you will see it today. After that I have some shotguns that they are got rolls, uh, like uh, Helium shotgun, what else? The Star Wars Squire that I changed the element from fire to water. Uh, what else? Oh, I have this also legacy, but the backbreaker, but I don't have to craft it right now. So, or maybe I have 130. No, maybe I will try to trade inside the inside the game to to get some oxidized and maybe craft one for you guys. 
well, we have to go into game and check it out, okay? I'll see you right now in the game, guys. So guys, here we are, we are in game. The guns that I'm gonna show you is the dragon fire, it's the bear and the long arm enforced, okay? So here we go. Hello world. So first thing it's that we have to find a campman so we can kill some monsters. By the way guys, uh, I will be trying today to, to make a video of trades also, so first I will be editing this video for you guys, that it will take me a little bit of time, uh, and then I will try to make another video, so for tomorrow... So as I was saying, I will be trying to edit this video as fast as I can for having it for today, and if it's possible too, I will be trying to make another video of trading for today for tomorrow, okay guys? So you can see the shop that... I've been talking a lot about the shop and you haven't seen it yet. So it's time for you to see it. You know that I'm not good with numbers. So I'm more into how many shots it takes me to, to destroy one husk. If you want to see the numbers, you just have to pause the game and you can see how much damage I'm doing with the shotguns, okay? You can tell me in the comments uh, if the shotguns are good or not for you, if they are worth or not. I know that my aim is not the best. <laughs> but I don't play Battle Royale, guys. I just play Save the World, so I'm not, all, I'm not the best aiming. <laughs> So I want to find a cabman. Actually, I wanted to play a cabman ga game, so I will only play with the with the shotguns, but I couldn't find a good one. So we want to play a, a, a I don't know how to say it in English, landing landing one. Uh, weather balloon uh, mission so we're gonna try to kill as many hats as we can I would love to find physical has so we can try for example the dragon fire gun or a smasher even so dragon fire for example first shot it have to apply affliction okay affliction is applied now second shot it have to do a lot of critic Remember guys that we don't gonna use the legacy bazooka. What? Areko, you don't gonna use the legacy bazooka? No guys. In this game, we're gonna try to check for the regeneration heal. We're gonna try to check for the shotguns and we're gonna try to check for the damage. We are not gonna use at any point the legacy bazooka. No bazooka guys, not in these games. It's really complicated even for me because I mean it's my main gun, I love using my bazooka, and wow, I, I don't even know how I can do it to, to play without it. But here we go. So, friends are already building, that's good. Still, we haven't found any campmen. Oh, 
One, two. Are you ready? So You shoot me So I'm close to you I should get a little bit of regeneration Because I'm close to you No regeneration No regeneration Where is my regeneration? I should be regenerating no regeneration Regeneration and Yeah, uh, now I'm regenerating You see guys? I'm close to enemies I'm regenerating Okay I saw you I know you are around Don't run away from me I just love the long arm enforcer I'm dead. Thank you, brother. One second. Where is the ninja? Where is the ninja? Where is the ninja? I can see her. I can see her. Where is she? Where is she? She's invisible. Oh, it's a. She banished. So no more ammo. I have to craft ammo. Sorry bro, I, I mute you because you had a lot of uh, you have a lot of noise. What is he doing now? I have to mute him. What is he doing? <laughs> I have to, I have to mute him because he he have a lot of noise so unlucky it's it's so sad. So let's go do another encampment. Let's try the guns. I want to try the bear. I love this shotgun, guys. It's really beautiful and it works very well. But the problem is that all the uh, the monsters are fire. So okay. Um, the thing is, I have this thing, I want to put a lot of traps, but in this game I cannot. I can put traps. I, I, I want to, but I cannot. So, in this game we have to play without traps, guys. It's gonna be a bit complicated. No bazooka, no traps, only shotguns. But we, we still can do it, don't worry guys. It's gonna be harder, that's all. It's gonna be more difficult. Sorry. But we still can do it, don't worry guys. So they are building like hell. I like this. Alex, I have mute you. Your mic makes a lot of noise. Sorry, bro. Makes a lot of noise. Sorry, bro.
so let's upgrade at least. I mean, it's, it's not because I'm not gonna put traps that I cannot help the guys with upgrading the base. We can, guys. When you play a game, um, one thing that I hate is it's not because there's a constructor, a builder, that he have to build everything by himself. I mean, the builder can build, but you have to help him. You know, guys, you you can help with uh, the mats. It's not only one guy who have to build everything and, and put all his materials by himself. Everyone can collaborate, putting a little bit, upgrading everything. At the end of the day, the game is a, is a game for everyone, so we have to participate all. So we have to collaborate, all of us. Okay, I said I'm not gonna put any trap, but I'm just gonna put this, okay? That's all. Finito. No more traps from my side. Just in case that we find somebody under the trap, I'm gonna use the, la the long arm enforcer. And now, guys, it's time to have fun. I'm using the long arm enforcer guys because they are fire enemies. So I mean I can use this one too, that is fire. But fire versus fire is not extra damage. I'm coming brother. If they let me. There you go. I'm gonna put the banner, guys. Banner on, so if you die, you can revive, okay, guys? Let's go. Uh oh, that grenade was bad. I'm dead. Don't revive me, don't revive me, I'm fine. Have to fix the base. You don't go into my base. No, no. Okay, perfect. If it's damage for me, it's okay. If it's damage to the base, I don't like it. The turret will finish it. Let's go into the other side.
both of you. Thank you! Okay, 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 okay. We are doing good actually, guys. Somebody's shooting bazooka and it's getting me crazy because I want to shoot my bazooka. <laughs> I want to shoot my legacy bazooka. Stop shooting bazooka, please. You make me want to shoot my bazooka. Okay, the boss is there guys. We have to go for him now. Perfect. Okay, the other side, guys, the other side, the other side. I'm gonna explain you something about the rider, guys, actually. Um, the first time that the rider come out, is when you reach the, the level 100 on the Book of Collection. So you had to reach level 100 on the Book of Collection to get the Rider. So it was actually really interesting because it was hard. It was difficult. The game become easy, so now the, anyone can have the Rider. The bug, the book shot, sorry, book shot. What I'm sad is you cannot have two times into the into the support. For example, you cannot have, for example, the rider as a main thing, as a main uh, uh, character. And then another rider as a super, you know? I mean, that could be an amazing thing. So you could have the 225 critic damage plus another uh, uh, critic damage extra. I try it actually because I have two riders. But there's not, impo there's not possible. GG guys So there you go guys, here we got it Here we got it Another easy game to solve But this time only with shotguns That's amazing, eh? no bazooka at all It's a big change for us Now let's go into score and see how much damage we did That's the most interesting thing for us Well, for a gun, <laughs> for a gun that does not have DPS, I'm quite happy. 
I mean, we only fight it with shotguns. We didn't do, use the bazooka that have the maximum damage. We only had uh, shotguns who don't have DPS. Uh, we didn't place traps like we normally do, that they do a lot of damage to. So, 3000 damage is quite good. I'm happy, actually. So, let's move into next game, guys. Next game, it's gonna be a didactic game. I'm gonna build a lot of traps. I'm gonna put a lot of gas. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun now. So, now, yes, we're gonna do a lot of damage. You will see, guys. In this game, it's gonna be a didactic game. We're gonna show you how to use the traps and how to abuse of the afflicted damage. Basically, what I want to teach you in this game is uh, uh, how to use, how to put the traps in what I call the all way. Um, the thing is that when the game started, long time ago, uh, the guns, they, they, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start explaining you the legacy guns. That's uh, the main thing. One second that I finish with these guys. Legacy guns. The old guns. Before, when we started to play the game, like one, two years ago, because the game is now like two years ago, I think, uh, the guns, they, they used to come with a lot of weird packs, okay? Uh, the thing is that we had to play in another way. It's not like now that you can just go into a recombinator of perks and put the perk that you want and treat you well. Uh, the guns, they could come with any kind of perk and you had to play like you could, okay? So, if one game, if one gun, it came, one weapon, it came, for example, with a snare, per, snare perks, you had to play with uh, floor wooden pikes because that's what snares uh, enemies. Yes, I know that I'm taking down a tree with a gun. <laughs> So, today I'm going to show you how to use, actually, uh, traps with guns that have, uh, that have this kind of perks and they can use it together. So the gun that I'm going to be using, for example, is this one. Husk Stomper. 10% damage, 15, 15 damage to a slow and snared targets, 21 crit chance, 30 damage to afflicted targets, LM energy and... 10% damage to, okay, and cause affliction damage to for six seconds. The thing is that that perk it could not be, it cannot be used, okay, because it uh, it does not snare enemies. So we're gonna use it putting traps, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So basically, I'm gonna build the base myself, and I'm gonna trap it all. So if everything goes okay, in this game, we will not have to do nothing. I would like to find a module also. I mean, it's not like I'm... I don't want to do nothing. So let's just start here. One thing guys, when you put floor spikes, don't put them like I'm putting in, I'm putting them right now, okay? Don't put them where the husk spawns, because they're gonna get destroyed. I'm doing it so you can see how it's gonna be destroyed, okay? These ones in here, they don't gonna get destroyed, but these ones in here, they're gonna get destroyed, all of them. You will see it later on. So I'm gonna update the ones who are not gonna get destroyed, but the other ones, I'm not gonna touch them because they're gonna get destroyed, okay? Now. Everything that I'm doing have a, a reason, okay guys? I know that I have used a bit of traps, but 
This is what I love. This is my way of doing uh, tunnels, if you want to call it like that, okay? So... I'm gonna explain you what's gonna happen what's gonna happen in here. The husk first they're gonna pop in here and they're gonna die straight away because the gas is gonna pop. The gas first uplifts affliction. Affliction is like venom. Venom will the, the gas is gonna stay here and there for a few seconds and the 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 husk they have to pass through the spikes. The spikes will slowly slow them. So they have to take more time to pass through. So they have to eat the gas for a long time. You understand this, guys? So it's like me going slowly by here, eating all the gas on there. And because there's more spikes, it's more time that they have to go through, through, through. Why did I put all these walls? These walls have two jobs. One job is to slow them even more, because they don't have a clear path straight away that they can walk through. You see? They cannot go all through. They have, they have some walls that they, it will stop them. And also, if you find uh, laser faces, you can fight in here and use these as the walls to cover yourself. So you can fight in here and defend yourself. You see? You are here. No problem. In here we can use this gun, the long enforcer, so we can use the affliction, but it's broken already. So I don't know if I have a second one. No, this one doesn't... it's not the same. So we will have to change gun, don't worry. Um, that's sad, actually. Uh, next! Let's put more traps. In this game, I want to don't use the guns, if I can. Whoa! What happened there? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, somebody pushed me or what? Who pushed me? Who pushed me out? The trap or what? Look at these guys. Basically, we just have to sit in here and watch how the enemies die. We don't have to do nothing. So as I told you, some of the floors they will explode, or not, you see, the guys they will die by the gas, slowly, 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 but they will die. In this area we don't have nothing to do, nothing to worry about. So I think that they're trying to copy my idea. Let me put another shotgun here. Yeah, I think that somebody's copying my idea already. <laughs> this idea is another evolution. Because you make it more in tunnels, so you make them walk. If you want, guys, you can do like this, actually. So like this, you make them even work, too. You see? It's actually the same. Because you make them uh, slow. You make them work slowly, too. thing guys is that I don't want to shoot my shotguns in this game in all the game I do I want to play only with traps so basically I want to try to play only with traps 
We have to beat this game with only traps. Here they come. Defend the shelter. You can see that the traps are placed. If we need to put more traps, I will put more traps. But I will try to don't shoot my shotguns. More traps. There you go, guys. Only traps. By the way, my traps they are 106 with only blue perks, nothing else. They are not got rolls, they are nothing else, they don't have no more power, just blue perks. So you see, eh? 497 uh, shotguns, uh, ammunition. I haven't shot nothing yet. You see what I told you guys? When they are shooting you in the face, you just have to defend yourself with this. And the game is done. There you go guys, here we got the game only with traps, now we have to see the damage, done only with traps. 2,900, only with traps, only with traps. We almost didn't use the, the shotgun, we only used it at the start of the game, but we didn't use it after the, the start of the mission. Only with traps, there you go. It's actually quite worth, <laughs> I enjoyed the game, but I used it a lot of traps too. <laughs> I have to I have to show you while trading how do I do to get so many herbs to, to do so many traps. I, I have to, to show you how do I do to achieve so many traps, so many so many things. Don't worry, uh, I will I'll be doing the trading video so you will see. So let's move into next game, okay guys? 
here we go so guys uh, here we are again uh, sorry uh, I filmed the video before but uh, the team that I had didn't allow uh, didn't allow me actually to to do what I had to show you so I'm doing it again I'm gonna start again uh, I choose another game where it's uh, two Atlas so maybe it's gonna be more easy for me to show you what what I want uh, I don't know I'm gonna try so here we are By the way, I pick up another uh, long arm enforced who have who have uh, damage to afflicted targets, and we're gonna see how does it go. Basically, what I'm gonna try to show you in this video that I tried to show you in the video before is uh, how to abuse of the of the affliction on the traps that I have how to abuse of the of the perks on the weapons and how to use them with the traps basically so the gun that we will be using is this one it's not the most suited one for this uh, for the rider but i want to use it just to to show you how to use it i i want <laughs> i want to use it so you can see how it's uh, used the perks and everything damage to slow it and it's not a target so basically this is a legacy gun uh, as you can see the legacy guns before they could come with different perks that you couldn't you couldn't choose not like before that you can just do the recombinator of perks and you can change everything and put whatever you want uh, so to use the damage to slow it and it's not a target you have to fight on slow on on traps that they slow or snare the target so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how to do it also the damage to afflicted targets it's only with gas traps because gas traps are aptly afflicted uh, affliction to the enemies so i'm gonna show you too I just hope that in this time my colleagues allowed me to build the traps, allowed me to put everything and I can do it. This is completely new, I never seen this. I know what you're thinking guys, I'm abusing. I know. Like always. Now, look at this. Perfect. Leaving aside that they are dying, we can abuse of the snare to hit them harder.
So, in this area, we're gonna fight with the long arm forcer and the husk uh, stomper. Okay, I think it's enough now. Enough of gas, I mean. Now we just have to fight in here. So guys, uh, the thing, let's use uh, the long arm enforcer now. Here we got a smasher for example. We're gonna use the affliction damage, so we do more damage as you can see. We got another smasher coming by more damage because they are afflicted we apply more damage to them you have to understand that because we have these walls that I explained to you before they have to work much more you understand this situation no? you see? we are applying much more damage because the perks it says because they are snared because they are afflicted we apply much more damage we apply actually uh, 15% damage to slow it and snared targets and 30% damage to afflicted targets so that's what up what what uh, the damage that we're applying to this uh, to, to these targets okay this is extra damage so this is how we had to play before in the old game we had to put all these traps before to play under the traps with the legacy guns this is the, the way that we used to play before. We had to find the ways to play. Because we didn't have the recombulator to put whatever pairs we wanted. This is another easy game where we don't have almost to do nothing. We're just gonna abuse of the affliction power.
Nice. We can see how fast they die. Remember that my gas traps are 106 with only blue perks. They don't have gold perks yet, okay? By the way, if you want to see how my traps are made. Here we go with the boss. I think I hear the boss. So beautiful when you can see nothing. Everything's covered in on gas, gas. So you have to understand that the long arm enforced is better to use it always under the traps because like that you uplift the affliction and you have more damage on it. Because if not, what you're doing basically guys is losing a perk. Damage, you're losing 50% damage to afflicted targets if you don't use it under the gas traps, guys. For example, another way to use the, the long arm enforcer is I shoot first with this gun that uplifts affliction and then I change to the, la the long arm enforcer and then I will use the affliction uplift. You see, first shot, affliction uplift and then I explode the affliction. First shot, I uplift affliction and then I explode the affliction. I know what you're thinking, you wasted a lot of metal, you wasted a lot of traps. Guys, um, remember one thing, this is a game, so we are here to have fun, we are here to amuse ourselves, uh, it's not a waste, it's just using materials, it's, it's just a game, it's, it's data, it's information, it's nothing else than that. I will trade, I will get it back, and I will craft more traps, and I will use a lot of traps again, and that's all, nothing else. GG guys. It's just a game to have fun, nothing else. Well, finally, in one game we are the first. That's good. So guys, this is all for today. Uh, now I'm gonna go editing. Uh, it's gonna take a long time because I'm a noob. I'm completely new about it. Uh, thank you for being with me, thank you for burying me, um, I'm sorry for my English like always, uh, I'm gonna try to edit the best I can, it's gonna be the second video I edit in my life, <laughs> so
So I, I don't expect me to do the, the best thing, but I'm gonna try to do something good. Uh, I hope that I will be able to do the trading video today too. Um, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.